Hi guys, welcome to another video, and in this video I'm going to be commentating a best of 19 duel with me fighting against Chuck Norris, a quite high ranked witch doctor, I believe he's uh, top 10 on the progress rankings, and he plays pretty smart too, so it was an interesting duel. Uh, I think I'm about 290 or so on the D-Progress rankings, but I use the Legacy set which kind of kills my stats as well, so maybe with better pieces I would have been kind of a little bit up there. But anyways, um, in this video I'm going to talk about how to engage and what's a pretty good build against Witch Doctors. Um, as you can see down there I'm using Fan of Knives and Impale as my as my main damage dealing skills and the reason why I use Fan of Knives is because uh, against Witch Doctors in particular is because they have their Zombie Dogs and Gargantuan and the reason why Witch Doctors have Zombie Dogs and they're so useful is because um, Demon Hunters are ranged and they actually block a lot of arrow shots otherwise I could have used like some really cheap hungering arrow off-screen tactics but um, w zombie dogs really negate that kind of stuff. Uh, so, so that's why I need fan of knives, and I need to get up pretty close to them. And as you can see there, I pretty much try to preemptively smoke screen and then jump in. Now, one key part to this, and I was talking to Slackjaw about it. If you don't know Slackjaw, he's a pretty good, or I guess really good demon hunter. Uh, he can take quite a bit of games off Moldren as well. He's uh, I saw his duel against Moldren, he's really good. Um, he uses Thrill of the Hunt and it's actually very very useful against barbs as well as witch doctors and the, the general strategy is you want to smoke screen in and if you're a bit far you might want to vault in as well but the idea is you smoke screen in and you try to get the witch doctor with your fan of knives, right? And the reason why you use fan of knives is because Thrill of the Hunt only works on hatred skills, right? And fan of the knives is kind of guaranteed to, or well, fan of knives is kind of guaranteed to hit the witch doctor. Um, unless they preemptively. Uh, I died there, so 1-0 for him. Uh, he kind of caught me off guard with the haunt, and I was off the cooldowns. So one thing you want to do is you want to get him with your fan of knives, and then that's going to stun him. But if he's smart, well, most witch doctors that you play against that are pretty high on the D, D progress rankings are pretty smart. They're going to preemptively spirit walk, right? And if they preemptively spirit walk, then you really have no choice but to back away, which is what you're seeing there. Uh, but this time I'm a bit more aggressive. I got some good impale shots in. So he's pretty low HP, but uh, you have to be pretty careful against Witch Doctors who are low HP because they have uh, their passive. Uh, I sniped them there, so that was good. So it's 1-1 one, one now. Uh, because they have their passive that kind of heals them for 35% when they take fatal damage. Uh, I think it's called Spirit Vessel. It's very good for Witch Doctors. So what you want to do is, when you, you want to keep track of whether Spirit Vessel is on cooldown or not. And keep in mind that every time you kill him, um, I think Spirit Vessel goes back off cooldown. But I'm not too sure about that. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Sorry. Maybe that's a new thing to say. Uh, okay, anyways. Uh, so, I got another pretty good snipe there. And I was leading 2-1. So, it's kind of a pretty long duel. I might occasionally run out of things to say. Just because things kind of get repetitive a little bit. Um, typically, you need to hit and run witch doctors you cannot just engage them and fight like uh, man mode style you know just like try to shoot them down but that's not going to work mostly because of spirit walk as well as um, uh, spirit vessel which kind of puts them in ghost form anyways so they get like twice the ghost form I believe 
and that's kind of really dangerous, especially the Switch Doctor, uh, which, as you just saw there, he's using he's using uh, fire bats when you're close range, and that's really really dangerous because the way the rune that he's using for fire bats works is that it's actually bleed damage. So if I try to smoke screen away. Um, I'm not going to be able to smoke screen away without taking bleed damage as well. So in a way it works kind of like Haunt where if I try to get close to him uh, I'm going to be taking quite a bit of damage as well. So it's a very smart build on his part as well um, and that's kind of why I'm having trouble against this Witch Doctor. So the current score is 2-2 right now. Uh, usually before engaging I would wait for a thrill of the hunt and I got some good impale crits there and I kind of sniped them down so it's 3-2. Um, I cut out a few of these clips just because it's mostly me running around <laughs> trying to get some health back after after him landing a crit. Um, not much I can do about that. I don't know if I should keep this edit it out or leave it in, but I imagine most people do not want to see me run around. So that's kind of why um, I just switch between in the middle of a duel. So when you're low HP like I am now, what you want to do is you want to try to, well, you want to try to best, you want to try your best to kind of jump around in the outskirt of the map. And the reason why you want to do that is because he's usually in the middle trying to cut you off. So if you go in the middle, you're pretty much guaranteed to die. It's just a matter of whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise, right? Because sometimes he might go up the map to try to cut you off, and sometimes he might want to go down the map to try to cut you off. So you have to be very careful whether you choose to run away up or you choose to run away down. Um... The reason why I'm using Impale, oh, I got a good snipe there as well. The reason why I'm using Impale is because it does pretty much the most single target damage, and it might also do some damage after he gets off his uh, what do you call it, Spirit Walk. I think he's using the the longer duration one, the rune. I didn't check his build completely, so maybe it might not work so well, but. But the bleed, the bleed is still very useful after you bait out a spirit walk. Because what I typically try to do is I try to preemptively smoke screen, right? But the thing is that he hears it off of his screen. So he knows when I'm going to smoke screen. And that, that's why sometimes you kind of have to smoke screen really far away and just vault in a couple of times and try to get in a good shot. But it's actually okay if he hears you smoke screen because in that case he's going to use spirit walk right and what you really want is you want no, to stun him that. when his spirit walk is not on cooldown right that's kind of the most useful time to stun the guy and here he got a crit haunt and my prep was on cooldown my pot was not on cooldown so but I don't think it would have mattered because Haunt does too much damage when I don't have Discipline. Um, one of the things he was... He was using a particular Haunt rune. I don't know too much about his Haunt runes, so I can't say much about that. But it does a crap load of damage. Like, this guy has 150k health, uh, as well as, like, 130k unbuffed DPS. So... You get some pretty insane damage coming from him. Hmm. So, a lot of the duels, a lot of the the duels here are me trying to pretty much snipe him. Um, I try to get him stunned, and then I take a few impale shots. One thing that you see here that I did was I went to the side, but his. I think his zombie dogs were stunned at the time, I'm not sure, but Fan of Knives also stuns his pets, which is really really useful because 
you can pretty much smoke screen or vault to to the other side and then you get free shots off the witch doctor unless he's like completely surrounded <clears throat> but chances are like you saw there when he moves forward his zombie dogs follow him that means he's often vulnerable in one in one per from one particular direction uh, so that's kind of what you want to take advantage of um, and also if you get a, off a crit fan of knives it's going to well, kill a lot of the dogs pretty much if you get if you have good DPS like in my case I have one I think I had 140k unbuffed with an SOJ so that's pretty good I mean with the legacy nats I think it's pretty good there's a few demon hunters out there that have like 200 or 250 unbuffed that is impossible. but the problem with the way they those guys build their demon hunters is that they have low HP I think I have like 90k health so I prioritize defensive stats a little bit more over offensive stats just because um, my crits still do over like 60 70 K damage against really geared guys and at this point I feel that it's probably more important to be able to survive at least one crit as opposed to getting sniped down so here I actually catch him a little bit off guard and I get a pretty nice snipe uh, that kill there was a pretty good example of what happens when witch doctors have no summons because as you saw he was a pretty much a really clear target um, I imagine there he's also waiting for his zombie dog cooldowns to come uh, when I engaged in that fight just now yeah so now he has his zombie dogs but when I engaged earlier he didn't have his zombie dogs um, the really tricky part is that the way haunt works is that um, you can pretty much haunt the ground I believe and even if I'm in smoke screen as long as you haunted the ground that was casted on it's still going to catch me and then when I get out of smoke screen it's going to do some damage to me so um, it's really tricky and that's why you kind of have to uh, vault off screen as opposed to run with smoke screen off screen because if you run with smoke screen off screen um, you cover less distance and that's kind of important because good witch doctors will be able to predict where you're going to okay so I got a pretty nice kill there as well uh, so it's pretty close game 6-6 six, six. I haven't been talking about the game too much I've been talking more about how to initiate witch doctors but um, one thing you want to keep in mind is that you would prioritize vault to run away over smoke screen to run away and you would prioritize smoke screen to reduce the the bleed damage as opposed to vault from running away <coughs> you don't benefit much if you vault and then you're still bleeding and taking tons of damage um, so here I'm trying to just stall for time I figure I should at least put one clip of me running around the edges of the corners uh, people often say like oh that witch doctor is not aggressive he's not trying to kill you but that's not true I can cover ha I can cover a full map in like four volts and I can do that in like a second or two witch doctors can't go from one side of the map to the other side in a second or two and that's pretty much the reason why you're able to get away from witch doctors fairly easily and you're able to stay safe now the smart ones will of course cut you off and well that's also part of the game where they have to cut you off and in this case I was high HP and I saw him and he was like low HP so I kind of wanted to engage there but I knew I shouldn't because of spirit vessel uh, not yeah spirit vessel and well with spirit vessel even if you engage and you're at full health and you get a couple of good shots off and he enters ghost walk because of spirit vessel vessel well spirit walk actually um, he's 
pretty much going to have the opportunity to one-shot you if he has the chance to get off some good haunts and spirit barrages. So you have to be really careful when you engage, even especially actually when witch doctors are low health. Because witch doctors kind of bait you many times when you have low health. Like, you can pretty much tell when a witch doctor has spirit vessel on cooldown and when they does not when they do not have spirit vessel on cooldown and when a witch doctor is like kind of defensive and trying to run towards a corner that means their spirit vessel is on cooldown so the reason why i died this time is because well all of my cooldowns were down um, typically if you want to do a longer engagement you want to have preparation for extra hp uh, no doubt about that but sometimes when you see him low, low HP, you're just too tempted to go in. And sometimes it's just a wrong decision. Uh, so you have to be really careful about how you engage witch doctors. So right now, I got a pretty good stun. And as you can see, I took off about like 80% of his health. But because he has pretty high regen, he regenerates it pretty quickly. Um, maybe I should have engaged here because I have preparation as well, but I believe he's waiting for me to come. I'm not sure why he was waiting for me to come at this point, uh, because he had all of his zombie dogs as well, so it's kind of... I'm not sure about that decision. Um, here I'm just trying to smoke screen in. I got another pretty good stun off, but... Here I made a pretty big mistake where I didn't use my preparation. As you can see, it's not on cooldown. And I should have used it there. I might have had a chance to get off an extra kill. Um, here's another example of Spirit Walk or yeah, Spirit Vessel not being on cooldown. So I tried to get a kill off and I got a pretty good snipe as well. So actually maybe spirit vessel was not on cooldown um, I might have cutted the part out where I got the spirit vessel off cooldown <clears throat> just because the clips are really long okay so I think the score was 9-7 at this point and he's doing really well he's in the lead um, I was kind of running around for a lot of the parts here I was trying to catch him off guard but I really couldn't and he had some really good haunts as well uh, he caught me off guard instead especially there when I when I smoke screen there I kind of ran into the bridge where I shouldn't have ran into the bridge um, but other than that he's a pretty good witch doctor he kind of owned me in this case but hopefully I get a rematch later um, here I'm trying to get some shots off or I'm trying to wait for my prep cooldown but he just plays kind of smart like he tries to cut me off at different parts here I figured he would probably go down towards the right but instead he went towards the left so uh, he came from the right direction and he got off a pretty good haunt here and here and Oh, it's not this game. It's not this haunt that was game, but uh, possibly another haunt. Yeah, it might have been this one. Yep. So good game, ten to seven. It was pretty close. He's a a very good witch doctor, and hopefully I get to duel him in the future. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's my first commentary, so I'll probably be posting up future duels. So if you like the video, feel free to like it and sub if you want to see more and I'll see you guys later.